Hey everyone, welcome to my new quick tip tutorial. This time I want to show you how I use curves and some procedural techniques in Blender in my daily workflow to quickly model some basic objects. Like here we are going to quickly model a plant in a pot or something. So, so without further ado, I want to keep this short. Let's jump right into it. And I will start with the pot here. So first of all, I will add a single word. If you don't have this option here, if you press Shift A, Mesh and single word, if you don't have it there, just go into the add-ons and activate extra objects and you should be able to add single word. This really quickly way how to create a new object with one single vertex. And now I will go to the front view by pressing one on a numpad and we can start extruding a profile for the pot. So I will just press E then X and move this to the side like this. And now you can extrude whatever shape you like or you can follow mine here. Um, in the end, we'll be able to modify this on the fly whenever we want. So I will press E and extrude it somewhere here and then E and Z to extrude this up. So four vertices, that's all it takes to model a plant pot. So now I will rotate this a little bit and we can tab out to the object mode, go to the modifiers tab and add a screw modifier. And you can see they'll create this cylindrical object for us, but don't forget to check the merge option. So you merge the vertex in the center here. And let's add a new modifier here and that'll be solidify modifier. And now I want to add this a little bit more thickness. So by holding shift, I will adjust this a little bit more to give it some thickness. And now to make it nice and smooth, we can just add a subdivision modifier. So shortcut is control one or control two if you want two levels of subdivision. And now you have a simple path. If we now look from the front view and go into the edit mode and let me toggle the X-ray here, you will see that this is still those four vertices we created and you can easily modify the shape by moving the vertices around. If you want some sharper angles here, you can just press Ctrl R, add a new vertex and press G twice to move it along those edges. So I will go ahead and add one more with Ctrl R, then press G twice to add some support vertex here as well and down here as well like this. Okay, um, I really like this as some like modern plant pot. And to finish this, I will just press Shift A and add a circle in here. Let's look from the top, toggle the X-ray and we can press S to scale it up. Look from the front with one on an numpad and press G then Z and move this up. And additionally, we can press F to fill this so we have some surface there. So you can see how easy it is to use blenders modifiers here we have just three modifiers and four vertices or some more of them to define those edges to create some structure like this now i will go ahead and in a similar way very easily create the plant so let me press shift a and we will add a curve and i want you to select the path from the curve menu if you don't have too many options there's an extra object for add curve in the add-ons so let me just add path and now i will press g then x and move it aside here so it doesn't get in the way and we'll need one more curve to define the bevel profile so let's press shift a curve and add a circle and i will move this aside as well so press g then x and move it somewhere here we can make it smaller maybe and now if you select this curve you can go to the curve settings in the object data properties and in the geometry section you can define the object for bevel and the depth if you just increase the depth it will just create a pipe like object but if you select object as a bevel you can modify its shape so right now i will press this eyedropper tool and pick the circle now it didn't change anything because we still have a circle shape but now if we select the circle, go into the edit mode and you can see we have these curve handles there and we can select these two on the side. So I will hold shift and select these two, press G then Y and move them down like this. So now you can see you are getting the shape um, out of that curve. And to make this a little bit more sharp in the top, I will select this edge here and let's press S to scale those handles to make this more defined, more sharp and here as well. So S and scale this down. So I think 
I want something like this and now we can continue by modifying the path itself. So tab out and select this curve here. Let's go into the edit mode and I don't think we'll need five points. So just select these two points by holding shift and press Ctrl X to dissolve them. And now we can modify the profile from the side as well. And you can modify the radius with Alt S. So if you select one of these control points and press Alt S, you can scale this down like that. And of course, since we are using the bevel object for the profile, we can enable fill caps so we don't have holes in the end. And now I want to scale this as well to something like this and move this closer here. So I will press X additionally to fix this on X axis. Let's look around the front and additionally press G then Z and move this down here. And I will want to snap this onto the surface. So we'll need to align this with origin point and change its rotation. So select all of these, press R, rotate them like that, press G and move them here. So the origin point is a little bit over the first point on the path there. And now if you don't like the angle here, you can add one more point. So select these two, right click and subdivide. So you have some more geometry there and we can additionally modify this radius and get something like this. Okay, and one last step, I will make this really sharp so we don't see the cap there. Okay, now tab out. So this will be our kind of leaf or whatever you want to call it. And let's go here and prepare a face snap with the rotation and projection of individual elements. And now if you press G and hold control, you can snap this to the surface here. But I think here we need to flip the normals there. So let's flip the normals and let's do this once again. Okay. So I flip the normals by going into the edit mode here and pressing Alt N and choosing to flip normals. So the plane is actually pointing up. And now with this here, we can just duplicate some of these leaves. So press Alt D, R, Z to rotate and move them somewhere. And I will just distribute a few of these leaves around. Okay, and now this, I want to just press M, create a new collection and call it hidden. So there's a collection for these hidden objects we don't really need to have in the scene. And now I will just select all, shift click the path, press control P and parent this to object. So this way you can have a nice plant for your stylized architecture scene or diorama or anything you want. Um, it's created really fast. In five minutes, you have the whole object modeled using just the procedural techniques and some curves. So I really love this workflow. I use it all the time and I really hope it will help you in your personal workflow. And as always with these quick tips, I will go ahead and finish this up and create a little scene out of it so you can see how it can be applied and how I set up my renders and everything. So yeah, that's it for this plant and see you on the other side.
So this is the plant scene for you. Um, you can see I just distributed the plants all around and made a little water jar next to it to give it some more visual interest and lighted up the scene. Again, you can see how easy it is with Blender to create these simple objects using just procedural techniques. Um, I hope you like this one. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see a quick tutorials like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.